Hi there folks, Tim Robson here. Passed my test, got my car on the road. First camp. Looking forward to it. It's very cool being able to just chuck your stuff in the car and drive to wherever you want to go. Heading off into the woods. One of my favorite little woods over there. We've been in there a load of times. I've got the canvas Dutch army tent. Yeah. Got my little chainsaw, I did a lot of work to that and sort of tried to make it work a bit better. Got the dog, hello. <laughs> awesome, yeah, I'm just having a little snack because I'm hungry and then I'm gonna get my bag on, get my boots on and head off into the woods. There we are, folks. Up here in this wonderful bit of woodland. super peaceful in here well I'm gonna have to get my tent set up quickly because I chucked it over the fence and it rolled down the bank and into the stream so it's just sat in the stream until I could capture it out so I'll get on with that and then I've got to go back to the car and get a couple of extra bits and pieces that I didn't bring up in this trip there we have it set up nice and square unlike last time when I was on a bit of a a slant, I found the nicest, flattest place I can. Mm. Awesome, looking forward to it. Dog's chucking sticks around with his face as usual. <laughs> I need to put my waterproofs on <laughs> before I go back through that field because it's horrible. The whole thing's been full of sheep and it's just trodden to death and full of water. So that's my next plan. My water for drinking is in the car, so I need to get on with that. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm working with. I'm really glad I put these waterproofs on. It's uh, not nice having to sit in filthy wet clothes until you can dry out by a fire. Definitely going to be getting the fire going. <sighs> kind of wish I'd brought my normal shoes out of the car so I could wear those. Oh well. I spent plenty of nights at camp in bare feet. Come on. Dog's filthy. I didn't bring my uh, coffee pot and all that this time. Just made myself a good bit of coffee at home before I came out. If I can... <laughs> nope. <laughs> Cheers to you all. Hope you're having a good day. Good evening, whenever and wherever you are. And I hope you enjoy the video. I've been really looking forward to being out in this tent ever since I got it a couple of weeks ago. And it's nice to be here. Really enjoy this wood. Lots of good memories here, lots of good camps. Ooh, getting warm. Had to take my Dubu heated soft shell off. I had the heater on in here when I showed up because I'd, uh, you know, cooled off from sitting having my coffee on. Um, I've just been using my mini chainsaw and uh, got this bit of wood here that had fallen in the storm. I've already started to cut it down into sections. The rest of it's over there. Jack's having a right good time chucking sticks around. His nose is already sore and bright red. <laughs> Jack, Jackie crazy. So this thing didn't do amazingly in my last video where I had it out to test, but I got it home and I take it in it to pieces and I found out that the, um, the bar where the front sprocket in the bar is had been pinched really tight in manufacturing and it was like it was so difficult to do this 
and now I've sort of splayed the bar out a little bit, lubricated it up really well, and it's a lot, it's a lot easier to use. So that means I'm getting a little bit more efficiency out of the battery. It doesn't overheat quite as much. Well done. <laughs> quite well Also, when I got it home and took it to pieces, the, uh, there was so much wood and like full on twigs and lengths of branches stuck in here around the sprocket. So that can't have been helping at all. I've just had a little tidy. There was uh, the remains of this fallen tree here. You can see it there, just really, really rotten stuff. And it was proper in cased in leaves and undergrowth and the brackens and stuff like that so just scraped it back i'm gonna have my fire here so that i get a nice bit of heat into my tent the dog is wild he's all over the place he's finding himself sticks he's brought this stick this stick this stick and then that chunk of stick there He's good, he just collects wood, don't he son? Collecting firewood for us. Hey? Yes. So now that I have done all of the chainsawing and axe stuff, I think I'm gonna have myself a little Irish coffee. Johnny Walker Red Label, I put 
prefer black label, but this was on offer at the shop, so. Cheers, Nastrovia, Slanchava, and all of their, of those. <laughs> Oh, that's nice. Like hot toddy. Just standing admiring the the sunlight through the trees. It's one of my favourite things about camping here. You get uh, you get spectacular light coming through, and the sun sets just over there, and it's usually really, really nice. I think somebody is ready for some biscuits. Are you ready for your biscuits? I put his little jumper on because he's getting a bit cold, aren't you? Aren't you? Come on then. Come on then. Fit your nose, you daft guy. I usually give him the uh, the meat, but it's a. Uh, Trying to cut down on weight, just get him a little bag of biscuits for when I come camping. She's all of that fallen tree that I've got left. Chainsaw's definitely done a better job than last last time I used it. It's uh, been pretty impressive. Watch it die now, the batteries are going low, so. <laughs> Didn't I say? <laughs> I'm going to swap it out. <coughs> yep, yep. Jinxed myself. <laughs> doing <laughs> so yeah that is the death of the battery pretty much tried to get that last last end off there but no go unfortunately but it has cut a lot of wood like i'm happy with that amount of logs all i need to do now is go around on the stick hunt because there's loads of good branches everywhere from the last couple of storms we've had there's even that big chunk over there that in a year or so will be pretty good firewood. I'm not even sure where that's come off. But yeah, there's loads and loads of sticks, so I'll get plenty of small stuff. And then I've got all that chopped up and then the logs to go on. Maybe burn those two end pieces whole. There's loads of firewood, so yeah. It's still, but yeah, it still goes, but it won't go through wood. There's my nice clean jumper ruined. <laughs> you got yourself a bed there, Jack. Jack, you got a bed, eh? I'm going to start dragging a bunch of sticks in. The sun is maybe about half an hour behind the hill and then I'll be lighting the fire once it starts to get into dusk.
spoiled for choice. Hey, you, these are my sticks. Go on, shoot. Good lad. Good boy. Go on. Ten to five, and the unrelenting torment of sticks continues. I can't wait until you're tired out and you want to go to sleep. Yes, yes. Oh. If I can get a word in edgeways. I built a nice little house for the fire. Just need to. I've got. Um, I think only four of those bigfoot bushcraft pink fire plugs left, which is a real shame because they're awesome. So. I think stick two in the centre of there, and there should be uh, should be enough to get the fire going, don't you say, Jack? Yes. So look at that. The sun's just starting to set. I'll go and get a nice position to take some video of it setting in five ten minutes. Looks like it'll be a nice one. Time to set the bed up. Oh. The trusty fuel winter light sleeping mat from Amok Equipment. 
take this everywhere unless it's summer when I take the ultralight one. <laughs> You're in the way. Come on. Come on. Come on. Here. 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 Chuck. Here. No, you can't come on in here. Sit there. Sit. Good boy. Just wait. Wait. No. No, wait. <laughs> it's not time yet, man. <laughs> the dog loves this thing too, don't you? I'm not gonna have to blow you blow it up with you on it. Tell you what, this would be a lot easier from the other side. I'm going to open the other side up and do it that way around. The wind's blowing from this direction too. Are you going up in the world a little there? Yes? There we go. Nice. Up and stop. Oh, hurting my knees now. I hate kneeling down. Got all those wet, muddy dog paws on my sleeping mat already. <laughs> Just need to chuck my sleeping bag in there. Ooh. Snug pack Elite 5. Nice and warm. This is my all year round sleeping bag. It's way, way too big for summer, but I don't care. <laughs> Some of the places I camp can still be cold on the night in the summer, so... This is definitely going to make the dog happy. There you go.
Oh, that log's actually a bit more comfortable as a bit of a backrest. <laughs> Getting the fire supplies ready. It's funny, I've gone through 50 of those Bigfoot bushcraft fire plugs and that's the ferro rod that came with it and it's uh, it's got a tiny flat spot there. <laughs> so, 100% full thickness ferro rod that no like side pieces or magnesium blocks or anything also I found some fatwood sticks that someone sent me I can't remember who I'm sorry because it was ages ago but uh, much appreciated so I'll do some some shavings of some fatwood my uh, old lost in the wood hella viking knife i've um, scored some of the dead rotten wood that was out right into the handle and uh, i'm going to fill it with a bit of resin or something and yeah still a really really nice knife That's a good few years old and it's still sticky and wet and greasy on the inside. Let's get this fire started.
fire has been great. Really burning away now. Just uh, four logs remaining. Pretty much everything's on there. It's really starting to heat up into the tent and just finally dried my legs out. I've got my waterproofs off, thankfully. Yeah. Phone's getting on quite low power now, so I'm gonna conserve it for, you know, saying good night and saying good morning, and then I'll probably either cut the video or if it's not too wet, I'll go and charge it up in the car for a wee bit. See what the weather brings. Right, folks, that's me away to sleep now. Owls are out, fire's raging hot. Let's catch you in the morning. Ant car's brilliant. Here we are. My phone died uh, early hours of this morning. I'm not entirely sure what time I woke up, but I think it was maybe only about an hour, an hour and a half ago. So if that's the case, I've had uh, like 11 hours sleep because it was half 10 when I went to sleep. Had an amazing time. I've fully packed and brought everything down to the car. Jack's down there, he was getting cold, so I've got the heat on for him, and for me too as well, to be honest. And I'm just going to sit here, I've been munching away on a steak pie while my phone charges, and I'm uh, really enjoying that. But I'm very low on water, so I'm probably going to head back home pretty soon.